Hello friends, have you experienced sudden CPU spikes for your applications in production? That is when I say sudden CPU spike, you deployed an application, the application was running fine, there was no issues with it. Maybe after some time, the CPU started to spike up to 70, 80, 90 percentage. You didn't make any changes to your environment, you didn't you didn't make a no code deployment, you didn't make any flag setting changes, no patches, nothing was done. But all of a sudden CPU started spike up. And it will remain there until you recycle the JVM, until you recycle your application. Once you recycle the application, then once again the CPU will start to spike up and it will remain at that position. I'm talking about that kind of a problem. Have you experienced that kind of a problem? If the answer is yes, then uh, this tutorial might be helpful to you. Okay. There is only two reasons why this can happen. No matter what application, what platform or anything that you use, it can only happen because of two reasons. The first and the primary reason is when your application thread it goes on an infinite loop so let's let's take a look at this code we have this uh, while condition and then on this condition if the condition is successful then you say do something think about a scenario what happened based on some runtime data if this condition a condition always starts to return true if it always starts to return true that means your thread is going to loop infinitely in this while clause. So even if one thread, if just one thread the loop starts to loop infinitely, then you will CPU will start to spike up. So how will you diagnose this problem? This is where the thread dumps comes handy. So when this problem is happening, that is when the CPU is spiked up, you need to capture thread dumps. It's always best practice to capture two or three thread dumps. So here <clears throat> I'm showing you a thread dump that was captured from an application which was experiencing the high CPU spikes. So the three thread dumps was captured in a gap of 10 seconds between them. So this is the first thread, first thread dump. You can see it was captured at 10, 37, 28 seconds. And this was captured 10 seconds later. And a third thread dump which was captured once again 10 seconds later. So when a thread is looping infinitely, the thread state is going to be in a runnable state. It's going to be in a runnable state. And then you want to take every thread in this thread dump which is in runnable state and you need to look into the stack trace. And if stack trace is identical, if the stack trace is same across all the three thread dumps. That means it's indicating that a thread is not moving forward. It is just looping infinitely on the same lines of code. So now here, let's take a look at this uh, thread. Invoice generated QCA996. So this was a real world problem which happened in a major travel application. This thread is in a runnable state. And if you see, it is on the uh, on the first thread dump it is executing this method set connecting flight and it is on this line of code itinerary segment processor line number 380 now let's go to the second thread dump once again this thread invoice generated qca996 is in runnable state and then it is on the same method and same line number itinerary segment processor dot java line number 380 the third thread dump once again this thread invoice generated qca996 is in runnable state and then it is on the same line of code and this is indicative that this thread is looping infinitely on the same line of code that means for sure this is the this is the this is what would have caused the CPU spike on your application. See, but it's going to be a thread dump is a snapshot of all the threads that is running on your application. There's going to be hundreds or thousands of threads based on your application. So it's going to be very manually difficult and tedious 
to go through each and every thread and look for its state and then come check its stack trace to see whether it's identical across all threads. So this is when you need to use some powerful tools. So fast thread is a powerful uh, thread damp analysis tool which has several inbuilt intelligence to detect uh, these sort of problems. So to this tool let me upload the thread dump file that we discussed uh, just now. So I upload the first thread dump file. Now I'm uploading the second one. Now I'm uploading the third file. So now I'm going to say analyze. So now the files are in the process of getting uploaded to the tool. And the tool passed the thread dumps and now it gives you this kind of a beautiful report. When the tool detects there is some problem, it's going to show you this frowning face. This frowning face indicates the tool has detected some problem and see here it rightly indicates that your application might be suffering from iCPU and to learn about the root cause it's asking you to click on the problem button or the warning button in this report so now I'm coming down oh here there is this section called CPU spike and here it rightly indicates that if your application is suffering from iCPU spikes it's because these are the threads which are looping infinitely. See, it's not just one thread that as we saw in the thread dump. It is actually nine threads which is looping infinitely in your thread dump. To see what is the what the thread was doing, you can just need to click on this thread name. It will give you the stack trace of the thread. See, it shows the same stack trace, the itinerary segment processor.java line number 380 saying the thread it means it's indicating the thread is looping infinitely on this line of code so the so the tool has several such intelligence to detect not just cpu spike but also several other problems so if you like the tool you're welcome to use it so thanks for watching this video clip